What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And guess what? We are back at it again with another amazing, spectacular Annie. I'm doing a toy review over here. Cut it out. Another amazing, spectacular, mind blowing, jaw dropping action figure review of something a little bit different, as you see right there, Spawn Nitro Riders. And, uh, excuse me, that wasn't me, that was, see, that was the table, it was rubbing against the table. I, I didn't fart. Um, where was I? Uh, yeah. So, we have this right here. This is the gold version. Um, I don't know why I ended up getting the gold version. I just did. Um, the name for this fellow right here is Afterburner. Or maybe that's the motorcycle. I'm not really for sure. As you can see, the package is, the package is in pristine mint condition. But guess what? That doesn't mean she, isn't it? Because we are going to pop this baby open and review it because that's what we do here. Um, here are the other uh, nitro riders that you can get. Here's Afterburner um, without all the gold. I would have preferred this one, um, but I got the gold because... I didn't realize it was gold <laughs> because I don't pay attention. Uh, then you got Flashpoint, Green Vapor, and Eclipse 5800. Um, so now I don't know much about um, these Nitro Riders. Uh, this is going to be my first time reviewing one of these Nitro Riders. So, so it's something a little bit different, guys. Um, so without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and pop this thing open, rip it out this package, and uh, see what this uh, figure is all about. And who knows, if I like it, I might, uh, I might pick up some more uh, Nitro Riders. Okay, so let's put my camera right here, hopefully it doesn't fall off the edge. Let's pop this open, let's get this out the package. Okay, so let's put that off to the side for now. Let's focus on getting the motorcycle out. I like the name Nitro Rider. It's so dated, but yet it sounds so awesome. Okay, so... Oh yeah. Okay. So, let's put that off to the side for now. We'll tackle that another time. We'll take a look at the motorcycle because that's what I'm most interested in. Not too shabby, guys. Nice weight to it, man. There's the back end of the motorcycle. Nice rubber tires, heavy-duty tires. And it has some pretty good weight to it. Um, it's not lightweight by any means necessary. A very interesting motorcycle. Actually, it's pretty badass. I have to admit, it's actually pretty nice, guys. It would be cool if it lit up. This might be a custom. Who knows? I might end up painting this or... I don't know. I just kind of I kind of like it how it is. What do you guys think? That's a pretty dope motorcycle, man. Okay, so let's put this right here. Here's the kickstand right here. There we go. Look at that. The kickstand pops up right there. You pop it right there and it stays and boom. And then you plant it and it stays put. So that's pretty dope. Let's put them over here. Okay, so let's break out. I love this this uh, spawn right here, Nitro Riders. I'm definitely gonna see if I can take this off. I don't think I can. It's like a sticker. I definitely would love to put this like on the backboard back here somewhere, but I don't think this is gonna pop off so easily. And it just looks like a sticker. Yeah, it's not gonna come off. That blows. So let's take out the rest of these accessories. It looks like more stuff to the motorcycle, maybe. As if you couldn't add more stuff to the motorcycle. McFarlane Toys says, hold my beer. Okay. And so we'll take out the figure himself. Okay. 
All right. So here is the figure himself. Huh. Now this is all the way from 1999, guys. I actually, <laughs> I don't know too much. I don't know if I like the figure. I mean, he's definitely unique. You know, he's got a unique look about him. His head is on a rotation. Uh, he does have some ball joints, which you have to be careful because they don't look like they can go up. And you don't want to force it because it's an older figure and they will pop off. And there's his brakes right here. Break right there. Break right there. And then you got him in the sitting mold. Now he's got some extra pieces over here. Kind of like wings. Wings attachments right here. Which I'm going to untape. Pretty cool. So there's that. Looks like that looks kind of loose. So these go on to his back right here. Let me bring my camera back over here. Um, so I guess they slide in like so. Like that, kind of like a butterfly. He's kind of like a fairy. He's kind of got like a fairy vibe to him. And then you just kind of slide that in there. Okay. Huh. Not too shabby, guys. I really don't know what to make of this figure. I'm kind of at a loss right now. You see, here's some silver right here. So some of the gold has worn off on this guy. He's got the green eyes, like spawn, but I don't think he is a spawn. But then again, I could be wrong. So let's take a look at these shark fins right here. They must attach to the motorcycle somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, so... Here's another attachment right here. Or like this. Oh, it goes on like this. I think. Like that. There we go. And then these two go down here. Like so, to just kind of clip onto there. Okay. Yeah, as if the motorcycle couldn't get any more wicked. <laughs> there we go, guys. I really, really, really like this motorcycle. Okay, so let's put the nitro... Whoops, I didn't put the kickstand up. Put the kickstand up. Let's put the kickstand up. Let's put the nitro rider onto this motorcycle. I'm definitely intrigued, guys. I'm definitely interested in the other uh, Nitro Riders. And he just kind of plugs into there, holds on to the motorcycle, like so. So, <laughs> there is uh, Afterburner. <laughs> I don't know if I like Afterburner, or I don't know the name of this figure on this motorcycle, because I think it's a little bit too much. I can think of other figures I can put onto this motorcycle. I don't know if you guys ever uh, been watching my YouTube channel where I've put the uh, Ghost Rider on the Violator Chopper. The Ghost Rider just went more awesome. He he just looked more awesome on the on the uh, Chopper than Violator did, and that's now Ghost Rider's Chopper. As far as this motorcycle goes, um, I can think of a few figures that I can use 
for this motorcycle because this motorcycle is badass, man. Let me zoom out. I don't know how well you guys are seeing this motorcycle. Yeah, the motorcycle itself is the star of the show. It's really, really, really awesome, man. I might have to do like a little update <laughs> and find out what figure I can put on here that will make it look more and more awesome. You know what? I might even put like a spawn figure on here as well. You know what I mean? Because this motorcycle is badassery, man. I love this uh, motorcycle. Definitely, definitely awesome. It's like, it's got like a kind of a life to its own. You know what I mean? It's like a alien souped up motorcycle, man. You know, something like a futuristic Batman would be driving. Okay, so let's take the motorcycle out of here for a moment. Let's look at the articulation of this Nitro Rider, because I don't know the name to him. I'm just going to call him a Nitro Rider. Break here at the upper torso, breaks here, break at the upper thighs, uh, break at the upper, upper pelvic area, knee bend, articulation at the ankles. Uh, no pivoting going on, just nice up and down breaks. Um, his hand seems a little... See his hand? I'm trying to... There we go. You just had a break, break at the forearm right there. And uh, none of this comes off. He just kind of is what he is. Listen, the figure, um, I'm not really too fond of. I mean, he's okay. I, th I like the, I kind of like the figure by itself, man. You know, when you put him with the, mo with the motorcycle, it's just a little bit too much. You know what I mean? It just doesn't look right. I think if you just kind of left this figure by itself and alone, he's pretty awesome. Now, the same thing can be said with this motorcycle. If you left it alone and by itself, the motorcycle is pretty awesome. Now, when you put this figure with him, it just kind of gets a little bit too gaudy. You know what I mean? So, you know what, guys? As a set, I'm going to give it a five. But, here's the thing. With this guy, this guy alone is like a six because he's pretty cool just by himself. Bringing the motorcycle, this motorcycle is like at a seven or an eight, man. Together, they're a five. It's just, it, they don't look right together, you know what I mean? Maybe because they're the same color and it, they don't look right together. So my next objective, guys, is to find a rider for this motorcycle, man, because... This guy, I actually like by himself. He's actually pretty cool. A pretty cool figure. By himself. And same thing could be said with the motorcycle. So, yeah. There was my little rating, guys. I hope that made sense to you guys. Um... Because uh, right now, my mind is, like, going overload and, like, man... Who can I put on this cool motorcycle? You know, even... I'm just, like, thinking out loud right now. It The design is very, very awesome. The back end is awesome. I love the shark fins, the kind of spikiness. Shark fin right here. Uh, this motorcycle is pretty on point, man. I really, really like this motorcycle. Be nice if it lit up and had some uh, headlights, you know what I mean? Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave it at that, man. Uh, I gave you my rating. I gave you my thoughts on it. Together, they're just a five. Six. And I'll give an eight to this motorcycle, man. So tell me what you guys think of this review. Um, do you guys like the these two paired up? Or do you, would you want to see somebody else on this motorcycle? I like this guy alone. Tell me what you guys think of this little set right here. I'm kind of... My mind is kind of working overtime, overload right now, you know, of the possibilities of what I can do with this motorcycle. So, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that, guys. There's nothing more I can say. Um, if you guys like this review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And there you guys have it. There's nothing more I can say. Um, 
you know what, before I go, let me measure it, because I'm sure you guys want to know how big uh, this motorcycle is. I showed you the detail, I gave you the ratings. So the motorcycle going all the way to its longest fin is about 10 and a half inches. The character himself is about just under five and a half inches going all the way up to his wing right there. He's about six and a half inches. So tell me what you guys think of this um, Nitro Rider uh, afterburner. Hmm. Huh, huh, huh. So we'll leave it at that, guys. We'll leave it at the 16 minute mark. If you guys like this uh, review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. Um, I think I already said all that already. So there you guys have it. There was my little review of uh, Afterburner Nitro Riders from McFarlane Toys. Thanks, everybody, and I'll catch you guys later.